Hey guys, this is Kelly, the teen librarian at the Wichita Falls Public Library here for Teen Steam. Today we will be making a sediment jar. Sediment is naturally occurring and is usually made by weather and erosion. Erosion is the removal and transportation of things like soil or rocks or twigs. Um, it's usually done by wind, water, ice, or even gravity. For this experiment, you will need a clear container with a lid, some soil or dirt, water, and something to stir it with. I have the end of a paintbrush here. I also have paper towels to clean up in case I make a mess. So the first thing you're going to do is take the top off of your container and you're going to fill it about halfway with the soil. It's okay to make a mess, that's why you're going to be able to clean it up afterwards. So we have our container about half full of the soil. So next you're going to get your water and you're going to fill the jar about three quarters of the way. We'll see that's about three quarters here. So what you're going to do if you want to is that you can stir it now to try and make sure that it's mixed in well. Next we're going to put the top on our container. For this step, you want to make sure that it's as tight as it can be because now we're going to shake it and really make sure that this is going to get mixed. So make sure you shake it real well. So not always, but sometimes we might start seeing it layering right away, but you're going to want to wait a minimum of an hour before we're really going to see any results. So we'll come back in an hour or two and see how our jar looks. It's been a couple of hours since I let the jar sit. As you can see, some of the heavier material sink to the bottom, while lighter material like twigs will float to the top. Layers of sediment may build up and harden into sedimentary rock, like rock salt or coal, but this can take millions of years, which is why some rocks appear to have layers and is also one of the reasons why the earth has layers. I hope you guys enjoyed today's program and we'll try and create your own sediment jar at home with your own dirt, and I'll see you guys next time.